What's up? What's up, TikTok, YouTube? I got a death defying story to tell y'all. And this is real life. This is a true story. It happened. And you need to hear about it. So in 1998, I had a friend. Uh, his name was. We'll just leave his name as Josh. We're not going to say any last names. We're not going to say any middle names. Because I don't want it to get out there too much and ruin anything. But um, this person, Josh, and his mother, which is named, we're going to name her D, because we don't want to get it too close to the actual story. But this was my best friend, Josh, and I grew up with them, and they went to, we went to different uh, wrestling places. Anyway, long story short, we grew up together, nice, nice people. The best mother in the world would take him everywhere. Bought him a brand new car when he was a teenager and all that. Got him a nice little geo tracker and all that. Um, well, I moved down to the beach and we were living at the city when we were best friends. So he used to come down on the summer and whatnot. And um, we got a call one day from uh, the mother and saying, hey, can you come up and talk to Josh? He was just not acting right. Things had gotten a little bit out of hand. So... I was married at the time, and I'm 20 years old now. This is in 2000. Um, so, or no, I'm 17, sorry. 17, 18 years old because I got married young. Uh, still married. Uh, but anyway, so I go up, and we have a long conversation. Da, 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 da. We get up there, and I smoked weed on occasion, so I blew with him, you know what I mean, talking to him, say what's going on, your mom, you know, she's a little worried about you, da 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 da, -da. he said, no, nah, I just got this new girlfriend, and they always arguing, da -da -da. I thought it was just an average mother, worried about her son, because, you know, his son, her son's going out with a gothic girl, or whatnot, whatever, so we go home, come back down, a couple weeks later, my mom, now mind you, is best friends with his mom, D. So we get a call at 7 o'clock in the morning. Josh had killed his mom. He beat her so bad he decapitated her with a tire iron, put her head in a bucket, and wrapped her body up in a water med mattress and tried to drag her out the door. Well, the cops caught him anyway. Long story short, they turned this thing into her fault, her problem, and gave him 11 years. And now he is out on this day. He is still out. Been out for a little while. And it worries me because now he's married and he's got kids. What do you think? You think he should have got 10?